looking for fantasy football gift ideas, I got you covered. We have the top 10 uh, gifts in gifts ideas for fantasy football players or really any sports fans out there. And for me, it's not only about just, you know, getting your favorite team's hat or getting your favorite team's uh, shirt or a jersey or something like that. I like to go a little bit further and, and think about, you know, what could actually be useful. Uh, I'm a guy, right? We like practical gifts. But um, I have uh, gifts here, gift ideas, 10 gift ideas uh, available for any budget. So if you're kind of lower budget, you're looking for something for dad or something like that, maybe a boyfriend or girlfriend, um, I have you covered. Not too expensive, but we also go a little bit higher. Let's just dig right in. I think every fantasy football player um, would like this. Now, it's, a, it's available on Amazon. Fantasy Football Unleashed, 55 Tips, Tricks, and Ways to Win at Fantasy Football. Now, everybody has a fantasy football book. Shoot, I have a fantasy football book out there. You can check it out in the show notes below, but... What I like about this is it's written by the guys that do the Fantasy Footballers podcast. I mean, these guys are the giants um, of, of fantasy football advice out there. So even if you are you know, with somebody, you're buying for somebody that thinks they're experts, these guys have the respect that somebody even who, who you know is a little bit arrogant, has a little bit of ego about their fantasy football, they can flip through the book and, and find some good tips there. So I like that one quite a bit. Now, if you're with somebody uh, who won their fantasy league this year or is going to win their fantasy league, you're probably going to hear about it quite a bit because they like winning their fantasy leagues. I have fantasy football rings, which my friends really like. I'm more of a trophy guy. I got one for you, too. Um, but, you know, if you want to get some, something, whether it's a stocking stuff or whatever, there are two uh, available options. You have, a, you know, one for eight ninety seven that you could throw in a stocking stuff or it's just a little fantasy football champion. Or, you know, if uh, you have somebody that has an office and they want to put something on display, you can get one for about 25 26 bucks that has um, a display case along with it. And, you know, if you're somebody that, uh, if you're buying for somebody that's in a work league, for example, I think this is great because you'd love to stick your fantasy football ring right on that desk so that everybody who comes in and visits you, um, you know, whether it's a cubicle or an office, they have to look at that fantasy football championship ring. It's great to rub it in. Then you look in that uh, fantasy football t-shirt. So you get the fantasy football commission. Now, if you don't really know much about fantasy football, commissioners specifically run the leagues. And the people who run the leagues are really into it. Um, so you get a couple of different color options there. The fantasy football commission shirts are always very popular. And then my personal favorite, look, at the end of the year, at the end of the year, the worst team in the league, um, at that next season, I should say, in the fantasy football draft, they get the number one pick. And why do they get the number one pick? Is because they are the worst team in the league. So I think that if they're going to be drafted number one, they shouldn't earn it through futility the season before. They should earn that number one pick with an embarrassing shirt that says, I suck at fantasy football. And I do show, yes, this is a men's shirt. The shirt is made for men, but you can buy one for women as well. The nice pink unicorn, I suck at fantasy football shirt. If they have that number one pick, they better earn it. That's what I think. Now, I mentioned before, you know, Christmas or holidays or gift buying, Father's Day, Mother's Day, whatever. It's not only about buying helmets, but sometimes it's a little about buying the helmets. So I like these Rydell um, mini helmets. I have a number of them behind me. Me. I think they're really cool. Uh, they make these for college football teams. They make these for professional teams. Uh, if you click on the link below, uh, you will see that, um, you know, this is going to take you to the Chiefs. The only reason I put that is at the time of this video, they're the reigning Super Bowl champion, but they do have every team. Um, you know, college, you might have to, you know, run an Amazon search or something like that, but I love them. Uh, like I said, you can see them behind me. They're on display. Um, I have every team in the league, uh, but, you know, I think everybody would like to have their favorite team. I have half my college uh, alma mater as well. Um, now, a lot of people that play fantasy football, they collect trading cards. This isn't for everybody, but if you know they like trading cards and during um, you know COVID and all this stuff, all the shutdowns, trading card market has gone up. It's like buying stock. And what I always do, if I'm going to buy trading cards, I don't buy like all the sets and all that stuff. I think rookie quarterbacks, but if you don't know anything about trading cards, I have links below to eBay and it just kind of take you to the to the areas. And you can see in the screenshot, uh, the big rookies this year are uh, Tua Tagovailoa from um, from the Miami Dolphins. You can see in the screenshot, there's a $10 option, a $30 option, and they definitely go up in price, right? So whatever your price point is, you'll be there. Um, remember, if you're buying from eBay, just make sure you buy from a reputable source and read the thing. You don't want somebody taking a picture of a nice card uh, for a cheap price. Just make sure it's actually the card. Make sure that they're a vetted seller. Uh, another one, um, Joe Burrow uh, was the number one overall pick. Uh, he got injured, but he was having a nice season before. You can see in this screenshot, you have a $25 option any $6,500 option. Don't buy the $6,500 card. Let them buy that for crying out loud. Then you got another one, uh, Justin Herbert, who I think is having the best rookie season. Uh, you can see once again, $50 option there, um, you know, $1,100 option, $1,150. But you can find them for less expensive. Actually, while I was making this video, I saw one for five bucks. So I just snapped one up. Um, and then if you really kind of want to go above and beyond, 
and they like trading cards, you're not going to buy like a crazy good Patrick Mahomes card, but you can still find him. As you can see, a Patrick Mahomes rookie card, um, reigning Super Bowl champion. He's won an MVP. He's got a long contract in a good, or good organization. Uh, you can buy, still buy a, a rookie card that's unrated for 50 bucks. So you can check the links below. A Patrick Mahomes rookie card for any sports collector, they're going to like it. So that's kind of a slam dunk. So if you got 50 bucks, you can still get a Patrick Mahomes rookie card at a great value. And then, you know, we have a link below too if you want to get card savers for them or something like that. I personally think if you go to Walmart, you're going to be able to find more um, for much less expensive. But if you don't want to go to the stores or whatever the case is, you can always ship them directly from Amazon. Now, a little bit more expensive price points. I mentioned I'm more of a trophy guy. If you have somebody that's been in a, in a fantasy football league, like a keeper or dynasty league for like years, like a decade, these trophies are, they're, are awesome. Having a rotating trophy. The cool one about this one that I'm showing right now is that uh, you can actually, um, you know, write on who the champions were. So you can go back like 19 or 20 years or whatever it is. Now, it's more expensive. I would say this is for somebody like, you know, um, um, that's that likes the guys in their family a little bit more, or likes the boyfriend or likes the husband or the wife or the girlfriend or whatever it is. So, um, you know, you can diff get different colors. You can go back. You can actually get a huge trophy. You can go from 26 inches to 56 inches. There's a lot of different options here, but this is the trophy I would get. We actually already have a rotating trophy in my primary league. It looks like the NHL Stanley Cup, um, so we're not going to replace it. But if I were buying a new one, this would absolutely be the one that I would get. Now, again, since we're in a little bit of a higher price point, um, if your, um, you know, if your significant other or father or mother or whoever really is getting into fantasy football, I think one of the must to have and something that I personally use is Pro Football Focus. A membership there, it's more expensive than twenty five bucks, but you can get them a gift card towards a membership. Um, so again, any price point, you can either get them the full year membership or you could get them, you know, a gift card to get them on their way for a full membership. I think it's great. This is a slam dunk gift for anybody who likes football, whether it's fantasy football or um, you know, betting on sports or anything like that, daily fantasy football. Pro Football Focus is, I think, one of the must-haves. Another one I think is a must-have, and again, I personally use this, is NFL Game Pass. What's great about this is you can't watch the games live. Right there, there are different rules with the TV networks. You cannot watch these games live. But what you can do is uh, go back. I think the day. Let's say the games are mostly on Sundays. On Monday, what your uh, what the person receiving this gift will be able to do is they'll go. They'll be able to log on and watch that entire game. And they also cut up the game. So you know how a game's like three hours long. And uh, maybe, you know, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad saying, gosh, I just don't have enough time to watch my favorite team play. They actually cut these games up and, and take these three hours. They take all the commercials out. They take all of the, the analysis out and they do these quick clips where you can see the entire game in about 40 minutes, which is really cool. You can see every game and then you can see games in the history as well. They have an archive. So I love Game Pass. It's uh, completely integral to what I do in this channel um, and what I do, you know, in terms of fantasy football and, and, you know, against the spread and all that stuff. Huge, super important. I love this. Um, I think you can get memberships for between 49 and $99 a year. Uh, but again, Game Pass is, it is so good. Um, you know, once you're, you know, the person that you're buying this for gets it, they'll never go back. It's just fantastic. Um, now, this year has been a little bit weird in terms of going to games. It's harder, even uh, teams that are allowing fans in the stands, it's at like 20% capacity. But what you can do is buy a StubHub gift card so that when tickets are more accessible, at least they can go to a game. And believe me, there are a lot of people that can't go to games this year that really want to go. Um, a StubHub gift card would be real nice. So you can get the link there in the show notes below. And the last one I have on this list is Cameo. If you don't know about it, what you can do, and there are some pretty high price points here, but you can also find uh, people with lower price points. Um, you know, sports stars, actors, actresses, and influencers, everybody can think of. It's not just sports. You can go on Cameo and you can get that person to record a message um, for that special someone in your life. So, uh, for example, if I wanted Marshall Falk um, to record a message for my dad or something like that, if he was a big Rams fan, uh, you could uh, go through Cameo, you could spend the 500 bucks, and, and Marshall Falk could talk. Now, it's not only 500 bucks. I just included the most recognizable games here. You can get ones you can see in the left-hand side of that graphic for zero to 100 bucks. Um, so the price points are fine. A lot of people, you know, 10, 20, 30 bucks. You can find a lot of current stars from the sports teams, um, you know, of your choosing that will do this. And uh, I think it's a really cool service. Uh, my buddy got one for Steve Spurrier from the University of Florida, the old head coach there, um, you know, and shared it with us. He got a big kick out of it. So I think any sports fan would like this. But like I said, they do actors, actresses, um, uh, social media influencers, all that stuff. So even if football isn't the thing for you, they have 
sports. I mean, they just anybody who's famous, um, you know, there's a very good chance they're going to be on this app and you can get uh, direct connection. Some of these folks will actually chat with you for a certain amount of well, you know, money per uh, per minute there too, which is kind of neat. So there you go. There are my uh, recommendations for any fantasy football fan, any sports fan. If you have any ideas, hey, uh, comment below. Please like, comment, subscribe. All the links are in the show notes below. Check those out and uh, we'll catch you on maybe on some more gift recommendations here soon.